Whoops, there went the 555, I think. This is a Jacob's Ladder uh, running off of an automotive ignition coil. Oh, for scale, let's see, there's my hand. It's a small Jacob's Ladder. Uh, it's running off of this 12 volt automotive ignition coil, which is being triggered by a circuit that's based on a 555 timer chip. Um, the 555 timer chip is being run in a basic uh, A-stable configuration with a duty cycle and frequency control and it in turn is driving a 2N3055 transistor which is switching the juice from the battery through the primary of that coil and then the secondary of the coil is hooked to the little Jacob's Ladder assembly right there, and when I energize the system with this little switch right here, come on baby. I think my battery is getting a little weak. Still got some pretty good sparks out of it. This circuit will blow up 555 timers. I don't know if you can see it on the board there, but. Uh, you can see some scorched marks in the 555 timer position and you'll note that I've got a big uh, fast recovery diode right there. That diode is very necessary. Without that diode sometimes this 555 chip will actually blow up. I mean literally explode. Uh, you can see you can see the scorch marks on my breadboard. This is a fun little circuit. Uh, it's basically the same as the uh, clock circuits, all the 555 clock circuits that we've been using. Uh, the only difference is that instead of switching uh, a MOSFET, which I could be doing, I'm switching this uh, 2N3055 uh, power transistor and it in turn is driving this coil, this highly inductive load instead of an Ainsley load, and it's producing some pretty nice little spikes. Isn't it? in a while. There it goes. And of course I can tune the frequency and the duty cycle to find some optimum. Some optimum. Yeah, I don't have enough hands. There we go. fun you can have with a little 555 timer. Whoops. Now that, uh, that was a lot, that loss of power.
Okay, that's enough fun. Eat your heart out, Morikami.